Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here today. Today we are going to be talking about five very easy ways you can get your eBay store up and running. These are things you need to do today, especially if you've been experiencing some slow sales. These are things that I plan on doing the second that I feel like I'm back to normal once the baby is all settled. I'm gonna get my store up and running with these five techniques and you can do them too. First, I would like to thank the sponsor of this video, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much, Skillshare. If you are a curious learner and you like to learn things as you're listing, as you're working, any variety of topics you can think of, Skillshare is for you because they have thousands and thousands of classes about everything you can imagine. Affiliate marketing, eBay, Amazon, Shopify, anything that you want to learn you can learn with Skillshare. It's just one low monthly fee to access any of the classes that you want. I'm currently learning about affiliate marketing on Skillshare and it's something that I'm passionate about, especially as I'm learning more and more about passive income. It's really exciting to learn about affiliate income, so I've been enjoying that a lot. Right now, Skillshare does have a very special deal for my subscribers. The first thousand of you to click on the link in my description will get a free month of Skillshare premium membership. The trial is completely free, so it's no risk to you. I would highly recommend doing it and trying it out and seeing if it's a good fit for you. I think that my audience especially would really enjoy it. Thanks again, Skillshare, and now let's get back to the content of my video. Okay, so number one is to use promoted listings if you haven't already. Start using promoted listings. They really do boost your items in the search for people. Yes, there's a fee, and I know that sometimes people don't like the fee, and I understand that too, but it's just a very simple way to advertise within eBay your items. And what I have personally found is I get a lot more buy it now sales from my items, even though I have best offer. A lot of times people will just buy the item straight up without making an offer when it is a promoted listing because they see it at the top of their search, they want it, they buy it, and it's done. And that kind of helps cover some of the costs of the promoted listing. I personally use about 5%. That's my current promoted listing rate. You can go up to 10%. You can try it at one to two. I have temporarily done a 10% promoted listing rate and I saw a ton of sales that way. So if you wanna really inject your store with some momentum, temporarily boost it with a 10% or more promoted listing rate and you'll definitely see some sales increase from that and then you can just bring it down as your store gains momentum again. Second, you can run a sale on all of your items. This is something that I do periodically. I usually have an ongoing sale for anything that's been sitting for over a month and then what I do at the end of that month once my sale runs out or is over and ends, I scoop in anything else that was listed that month that hasn't sold yet and I renew my sale to then on go for the next month. You can definitely do that. I do that for ease and simplicity. But if you run sales and you do them very temporarily or short-lived sales and you do multiple of those throughout the week or throughout the month, you will probably see more action because when you have a temporary sale that's ending within two days, eBay shows on your listing sale ending soon or time for this sale is ending soon and it gives the buyers a sense of urgency. I do always notice an uptick in sales right before my sale ends. So that's one way to definitely boost your sales, run a 48 hour sale, steeply discounted, and you'll see some sales rolling for sure. But again, I usually have an ongoing, I don't know, 20, 25% off sale with most of my items that have been sitting for over a month and when that renews, I scoop in any other listings that I've been listing that haven't sold right away. People love discounts and it's just definitely a way to get your items moving if they're going a little bit slow. Another is to send bulk offers out. You can send offers to anyone who has watched or is interested in your item. You can send hundreds at a time. And I would recommend doing this frequently if you can. I try to space them out outside of the window of my sales because if I'm running a sale and I do a bulk send offers, that's sometimes too big of a discount than I'm, like more than I'm necessarily comfortable with. But if sales have been slow, definitely do that and you will see a ton of sales come in. I think a really good rule of thumb is to at least once a week send out bulk offers if you can. So maybe an ideal schedule would be run a sale for a week, when that sale ends, send out bulk offers at an even steeper discount, and then renew your sale once those offers expire to those buyers that you've sent them to. And you will see sales continually rolling with that. Fourth is to, I mean this one's kind of obvious, list, list, list as much as you can. So you guys better believe the second that I'm back up and running and life is a little bit more normal, I'm going to be listing like crazy to get my store back up and running. You should see a ton of sales come in after several days or a week a very consistent daily listing. So I have a ton of listings that are ready to go and ready to be listed, they're drafted. I'm waiting again for my life to calm down and then I will be listing like crazy. That always brings in sales. Even if you can only do 10 a day, five a day, just start a consistent schedule with listing every single day, same time, 
make it a routine for yourself and you will see those sales roll in for sure. Especially if you have something sitting around that's a hot item, maybe it's outside of your usual items that you sell on eBay. For example, I sell mostly clothing and shoes, but if I have some really cool electronics, some video games I can't send to Amazon, maybe I have some Garmin GPS watches or some beauty products that I you know, can't send to Amazon that I'm really wanting to sell on eBay or have to sell on eBay. If it's a fast moving item, it'll get a ton of traction to your store. Maybe it's not even making you the most profit, but if you have a fast flipping item that you have in your store, you'll see other sales come in with the momentum of those items selling. For example, just recently, I had a bunch of brand new with tags shoes, brand new in the box shoes that were really hot sellers. I had multi quantity of a bunch of them. They sold really fast. As those shoes sold, it definitely gave momentum to my other items in my store and I saw a lot of other sales as a result. And you'll kind of notice that if you're accepting offers in the morning, whenever I personally accept offers in the morning and get the ball rolling, I do see more sales come in later that day. That's just kind of something that happens. In addition to this bonus tip, <laughs> I won't count this, but if you don't have best offer on your items, you really need to put it on because it does help drive sales to your store. I think the majority of my sales are from best offer and it really helps get momentum going. You can always just price your items a little bit higher and accept the offers that come in. Yes, you'll get low ballers and it's annoying, but it is beneficial in the end for sure. And then last but not least, number five is to auction off any old items that you have. You can have these auctions ending every single day. You can have a bulk auction ending one time a week or at the end of the week. But whenever I auction off my items, first off, I know I'm not gonna get top dollar for them usually, especially if they've been sitting in my store for a while. That happens and that's okay. But if you've already had items sitting for a long time, you're considering donating them anyway, or you're not sure what to do with them, auction them off, start them off at 99 cents, but make sure you add on shipping so that you're not totally losing money and see what rolls in. But the benefit of auctioning off those items, even though you're not getting the most money for them, is that it will boost your store a lot and get a lot more buy it now sales as well. So again, we are trying to resurrect our stores. We're trying to get our stores back up and running. Maybe there's been sale for a while and you really want to see some action. This is the way to do it. Auctioning off old items, you will see momentum come to your store and more buy it now sales and more offers on your other items. So there you go. You guys know exactly what I'm going to be doing <laughs> to get my store back up and running. I really hope this helped you. These are tried and true proven tips that I've done in the past. They always work every time. If you're experiencing some slow sales, do this today and it will help your store. I promise. Thanks again, you guys. I appreciate you. If this video helped you in any way, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel for more content all about running your business from home, especially from someone who is doing this part-time. Thanks again, you guys. I appreciate you. Take care, and I will see you next time.